Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and today we're going to be learning how to install the Diplomacy mod to Mountain Blade Warband. It's a pretty cool mod, it allows you to do a lot more things with the like diplom diplomatic actions that you would normally be able to do in medieval times that were just simply missing from the original game, and a lot of people uh, have really wanted those extra options so they created this entire mod and what you see in the background right now is me using one of those options right now it's called the constable he's able to recruit units for you automatically so you don't even have to worry about that he'll get like new recruits for you and it obviously costs a little bit more but hey it's really easy to just get like 50 recruits at a time it's so that's pretty awesome and then also a little bit later you'll see me talk to the chamberlain I think or whatever it's called anyway he has a treasury for you where all your income goes into and you can actually deposit stuff into there and it's like a little bit of a bank sort of thing so you only have so many dinars on you at one time it gets a little bit annoying sometimes when you're uh, out and you have to like try to pay ransoms and stuff but you know it's not it's not that really big of a deal and you get to pay for a lot of stuff directly out of that treasury so it's really cool and I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little introduction video and I hope it helps you to install the mod alright now first things first we gotta go to Google and we're gonna type in diplomacy and you can tell I've done this before just say diplomacy mod and it doesn't really matter what your version is so if you just type in what exactly what I did it'll come up the tail words forum will be the first one you want to use the tail words forum because that's going to be the uh, least likely to have viruses you know but since it's run by tail worlds themselves they're the developers of mountain blade um, then you, while this is the actual like forum page for diplomacy there's a bunch of information here you could look at the frequently asked questions and stuff like that but if you're just going to go download it this is where you want you want about diplomacy and it's been updated in September of 2012 so it's a little bit old but it's fine because it still works and uh, here we've got our contents and you want to just go ahead and click on installation guide and it'll take you all the way down here to like number four or something and just go ahead and click on this link here and you want to go ahead and click on the download now thing and just go right click it. I'm using Firefox right now so it'll be similar for Internet Explorer and Chrome so any basically all the big web browsers will be save link as and then you just go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and save it to your desktop which is what I've already done so just hit save here and I'm not going to do it because I already saved it obviously and then so let's minimize our web browser now my mess desktop is a little bit of a mess just because of the fact that uh, I have two monitors so I had to turn off one monitor to record this just because it would be it was being silly the recording software that I was using and uh, now it should be fine though so just, just ignore my messy desktop. It usually doesn't look like this. But anyway, here's Diplomacy. It's right here. It'll look like it's like some guy in a medieval hat. You know, his helmet is whatever. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on it. And you're going to say run it as, as administrator. It'll ask you anyway, even if you don't hit run as administrator. So it's not that big of a deal. But I just like to go ahead and ask it at the beginning and just type in your password or whatever and it's gonna say like something like is recreated for some other version of Madden Blade Warband it might not happen to you you might have the right version I don't know but for some reason I don't have the right version so I'm just gonna go ahead and just say yes install anyway and then you go ahead and click next to continue and go ahead and hit next again you might want to read this I don't know it's it's looks like it's pretty short but not really anything important then you go ahead and here and you want to make sure that your destination folder is the current is the correct folder it looks like it's for you know the inside your steam folder is the actual mountain blade file folder so it looks like that's where it's going now then you want to go ahead and click install and it'll just go this bar is very quick for me I don't know how long it's gonna take for you since you're gonna be doing it a fresh install most likely um, I'm just installing over other stuff so it's probably just not even doing anything anyway let's go ahead and we're gonna hit finish alright so uh, basically now you're ready to go you want to go and click on your steam and go to your library and this is just obviously playing Mountain Blade and now you're gonna go ahead and click this mod here it's already selected but this is what it'll look like for you um, then you go ahead and you'll click this drop down menu and go to diplomacy and then click play Mountain Blade and you will be playing diplomacy with the Mountain Blade mod and of course this works for all these other mods too it's basically the exact same thing you just download that exe it'll install it for you and uh, for I got Floris and Prophecy of Pandora that I've been trying out but yeah maybe we'll do some let's plays of those later Anyway, that should be it. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. It's your save games. Your save games are very important to you, obviously. And if you've been playing the native Mountain Blade Warband, you can still use your save games in Diplomacy. That's a very unique feature to Diplomacy. Most mods require you to start a whole new save game. They're not compatible. But Diplomacy is, which is very nice. So you want to go ahead and you're going to start here. This is your library or whatever. Go to your uh, computer. Click on your whatever hard drive your stuff is installed on. Now you're going to find your user 
and since uh, this is me here and uh, then inside of your user folder you'll have all your documents and pictures and stuff of course now then click on my documents and now here there will be like a bunch of stuff um, you want to find your mountain blade warband save games double click on that and you'll notice that it has actually created you a folder here called diplomacy now just go to native and take your save game file whichever one it is and these are in order you know how it has them tiled out nine of the nine save games that you can have uh, save game zero zero is obviously the very top uh, left save game and the numbers onward across the map and then down so just pick whatever one you want just a uh, copy and then you go back go to diplomacy and paste it here and you will be having your old save game in the diplomacy mod and uh, it's always a good thing to do is to back up your saves so if you didn't know where your saves were before now you do you can go ahead and save these and I like to every time I do an episode for you guys I always go and grab the save game now so if I ever like have an error or something I can always go back to the beginning of any episode so it's not even it's not a big deal I've got all my you know insurance policy basically anyway I hope you enjoyed that and uh, if there's anything else you guys want to know, please ask me. And if you're wondering about the background, this is actually a Ghost Recon Future Soldier background. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something and have fun playing the Diplomacy mod. Spray and pray out.